Hello friends, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to show you today how you can uh, install uh, Magento in AWS Kubernetes EKS. So let's get started. Uh, I'm in my uh, AWS console. So there's my console. I'm going to go to terminal. So this is the cloud shell. So if you go to terminal by just clicking on this icon, it should open any cloud shell instance. So um, cloud shell, it's a kind of a like a virtual or small uh, Linux box where you can run all those commands easily. You don't have to do that all those things in your local and your local machine might be different. So what I'm doing uh, here, you can exactly replicate the same things with cloud shell. You don't have, there is no difference because all are, all are cloud-based. So um, I have an article here, same as like before. So I'm just going to follow my article. At first, we need to create an Elastic cluster. So EKS cluster, I'm going to use EKS CTL for doing this. So install the EKS CTL uh, into this cloud shell. Just copy paste these things. It will install you the EKS CTL and then create uh, the cluster using this. I'm naming uh, the cluster as a Magento cluster. If you are if you want to use a different name, just change the parameter. It should deploy a new Magento cluster and it will take around 10 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back in 10 minutes from now. Okay, so uh, I'm back and here we have our uh, cluster is being created. So let's go to EKS. The benefit of using EKS CTL is that uh, they do all the backend stuff for you. So for example, if you go to cloud formation, you will see that they have created two cloud formation template for creating the cluster and also creating the node group. So we go to the details and compute there are the node groups. That being said, now let's uh, update the kubectl. So AWS is update config region is sorry AP South one that's Mumbai. And name Magento cluster. And there we are going to install Helm. Just copy this command, install Helm. Okay. Then we are going to set up a CSI add on for EKS. This is I'm just going to copy. Couple of things to replace here is that the cluster name. So my cluster name is Magento cluster. So I don't need to replace, but if you wanted to use a different cluster name, should you should change this. Okay, so uh, we install the IK settle again because somehow the browser has lost. Okay, now I'm going to run this again one more time. Okay, so I am open IT connection provider, it's done. Now I'm going to and I am going for a CTL, just copy this part. Right here. Cluster name, it's uh, Magento cluster. If you are using a different cluster, then just change it here. That's it. So, it is also creating a cloud function template to create this IAM role. If I refresh here, I'll see that this is the cloud function template that is creating the IAM role. For the service account. Okay, once this is done, I need to run this command. And here I need to modify one thing that is the account ID. So I 
go here and copy the account ID of my account and just going to replace that part. Copy. Just waiting for the cloud promotion template to be finished. Uh, it's there. I think it's done here, but for some reason, this is not updated. Okay, this is also done. So now I'm going to paste the next command, which will create the add all that is. AWS EBS CSI driver, cluster magenta cluster, and how is this row? So, uh, add on creation done. Then I'm going to add this film. This Pitnami chart is already added. I'm going to um the install command the command is simple helm install then give the release name like uh, my release and then we'll play on it with nami agenda okay uh, once you run this command you will get a message that you need to run this additional command to set the host i also provided that so just copy this part here and run it Screen. Then I'm going to up, run this command. This will update the host name. So see. Okay, and this is the command that will give you the password. Copy, paste it. Sorry, it's not. Actually, we need to run this part. This is the password. Now, this might take some time to get everything started. Just see, get your uh, list all the pods. It says container is creating. That means you need to wait because uh, it takes some time for the whole magenta setup. So just wait for one or two more minutes and then it should be okay. Yeah, started like the Maria degree that's up and running. But the others is still not ready yet. So we still have to wait. Meanwhile, we copy the URL. This is the endpoint actually. You can either grab it from here or you can go to the EC2 and then load balancer, and you should be able to see that. Okay, let's try one more time. Okay, most of them are ready, just this one is not ready. Just wait a few more seconds, I think. Still, the magenta pod is not ready, so just waiting. Yeah, it takes time. Magenta is quite heavy, so just have some patience. Check one more time. Let's see. It's still running, so let's wait. Mm -hmm. Q double get PVC. The PVCs are running, so that means there is no issue on the PVC. The only thing that is this container is taking time to start. 
and that can happen sometimes because magento is quite heavy yes here it is all are running so we should be able to see the magento web shop here it is this is our magento running on kubernetes yes that's it it is highly available highly uh, kind of scalable so you can uh, set horizontal pod scaling so to scale up if there is a lot of requests scale down if there is a lot no more request over there you can uh, you have created the persistent volume so you can just store those things let me show you if you go to ec2 and then volumes you see there are uh, two volumes for the nodes and other four are for the your uh, persistent volumes so yeah here is those you see <laughs> So if you see the name, these for the Magento cluster, but these are for all the persistent volume. So you can just stop it and restart it. It should, your data will be saved. There's no issue with the data. Now let's log into the admin panel. Uh, remember if we, we have retrieved the password, this is our password that's auto generated. And kind of please here. Sign in. And that's it. This is your Magento up and running, your uh, inside Kubernetes cluster. And that's it. It has also created a load balancer. So you can distribute loads among multiple parts. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are interested to set up Magento in AWS or Magento in Kubernetes, this video will highly help you. Thank you. I request you to subscribe to my channel so that I can get more videos like this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.